friends, welcome back. This is By the Book and we are your married relationship coaches talking about Married at First Sight, season 15, episode seven. Yes. Who are we talking about though? Talking about Ben and Ben Morgan. and Morgan, that's yeah. right. Oh my goodness, my memory is going. Yeah. Um, before we get started, guys, let us know what you think of the intro. If you like it, if you don't like it, we may change it. You gotta love it. But we're just trying some it. new stuff. <laughs> Anyhow, Ben and Morgan, as we know, we talked about them last week. They got off to a rough start um, with Ben basically going to the worst person he could have possibly gone to with private information of Morgan's about her RN degree certificate or whatever it is that she has. Um, I actually learned something new today because I didn't know you could be an RN with just an associate's degree. So that just... um, yeah, I was I was very informed mm-hmm. by that. No, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. No more nurses are needed. So yes, I let you know you can do that with an associate's degree. Just <laughs> carry on. <laughs> um. Anyhow, uh, as we saw, they had a visit from Pastor Cal. We always like to kind of break down what we think Pastor Cal did wrong. When he visits these couples because we've been so frustrated with the experts in recent seasons. Yeah. Um, but Hubs, how do you think how do you think Pastor Cal did with them? I think he did very well. I don't have a critique um uh too much with uh, Pastor Cal when he sat down with Ben and Morgan. Uh I think he got right to the point of w- w- what happened? You know, mm-hmm. why did they fall out? I think he talked, he got right to the, the heart of it when he got to talking about, um, talking, talking to Ben on acknowledging exactly where he went wrong. He, yeah. tra- he, he had him retrace those steps and Ben stepped right up and he took full accountability. And that's my favorite thing about Ben. Yeah. I think that's hard for most people when confronted with a situation where they are either entirely or almost entirely in the wrong Mm -hmm. to just go ahead and take accountability Mm -hmm. for what you did or for what you didn't do so you can move past it. I think so many times people have like this need to share the blame. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you're telling me I did something wrong and I'm like, but, 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 but you did something wrong too. You know, and it's not about that. You know, it's about me actually being able to own up to what I did and how it hurt you. So big kudos to him for trying to recover. I attacked him for being immature last week. You called him Johnny. Yeah, did I call him Johnny? You called him. You said said that he was giving Johnny vibes. (laughs) Yeah, so I will have to take accountability for that (laughs) and say I was wrong. I don't, you know, based upon his behavior this week, I think that um, maybe not full redemption because he should have known better than to to talk to Justin. Yeah. But um, yeah, he redeemed himself quite a bit to me in in his behavior and his accountability. Mm -hmm. Now, how like frugal he is, mm, that's a new thing. Talking about unplugging things and... Yeah. Um, well, well, let's finish talking about okay. uh, Pastor Cal. He real. blew me with that. Yeah, <laughs> we, 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 we can do this. All right, let's, <laughs> let's finish Doc Pastor Cal visit though. Okay. Yeah. So, so he took full accountability, and then the other thing I liked was yeah. uh, he got Morgan to kind of open up about why she closes herself off. Mm-hmm. When, after you know trust is lost and things of that sort mm-hmm. and so I thought it was a really it was it, I think it was really beneficial I got to the heart of the matter and I think it pushed them into a level of positivity going forward to yeah. where I can see okay they may you know they they they, they were on a struggle bus for a minute yeah. but I think that they kind of are making their way into a good space yeah. what, do you, what do you feel? I agree I mean I don't see a lot I can't foresee a lot of problems with them beyond that. I could see how that issue by itself mm-hmm. could have driven a wedge in between them that lasted, you know, most of the duration of the eight weeks. Yeah. But that having been resolved to the extent possible, as long as he doesn't repeat 
similar or the same behavior, I think that they may be smooth sailing, actually. They may be that sleeper power couple. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I hope, I hope so. I think they 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 reflect one another well. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think they do. Um, now, get into the frugal thing. He's what, What's wrong with this? This dude is ridiculous. He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, he's telling her what time she can do the laundry. Yes. Because, like, it may save two dollars, I think he said. Yeah. If she doesn't do it at like peak water hours or something. Yeah. He, I didn't I never heard of such a I thing. Know, I never knew that. And cutting off the lights. Yeah, cutting off the lights. We try to make her take a shower in the dark. Yeah. Un- unplugging everything. Who gonna take a shower in the dark? So it is it, it's, it's a little too far out there for yeah, me. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Yeah, so it's a lot. So I wonder though, I mean, and this is really me reaching a little bit because I do see them as being a pretty strong couple Mm -hmm. though, but I wonder if his frugal nature is going to kind of impede them in other ways. Like if she's the type of person who likes to like vacation or, you know, do things that he can't necessarily see the value in, will he kind of, you know, pump the brakes when it comes Mm -hmm. to things that she may be a little less frugal about? Mm, That's a good question. Uh, because that will require both of them to go on vacation together. Now, he did make the statement in the after party about making certain purchases. And when uh, uh, Keisha knight asked, you know, well, what if Morgan wanted to buy X, Y, and Z? He was just like, oh, yeah, she can buy whatever she wants with her money. That's fine. Yeah. You know? and that so, definitely felt a disconnect right there. Yeah. 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 And so it's just like, so, yeah, she can, whatever she earns, she can buy, she can spend whatever with mm-hmm. her on her own. But them coming together and, and getting into agreement, again, that's a big marriage thing. Yeah. You know? It, it is. You kind of have to be on one accord. Mm-hmm. In terms of like what you think is a, a worthy expense. Exactly. When you're spending like that. So that could be a challenge. That's something that they should probably talk about early mm-hmm. on in this relationship. But I think they've been trying to get over this other hurdle so much so that it's probably hindered them from having some other serious conversations. True. So if they do get into talking about like finances, like very practically mm-hmm. and children very practically, that could be another hurdle for them because he seems like very unrealistic in terms of like expenditures. Very unrealistic. Nobody. And I think gonna... he's. I think he's a, a decent wage earner as well. Yes, so it's he's an engineer. See, yeah. It's always strange to see people who you know are pretty financially s- stable mm-hmm. being so particular about expenditures. Yeah. I don't know. It's just weird. It's very strange. It's kind of a red flag for yeah, me. Yeah, she's gonna have to, <laughs> she's gonna have to pull him out of that just a tad yeah. bit at least. I, I mean, know. because he's way he's way over the top. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, this this season they went for somebody who won't throw plastics away. They went for somebody who who doesn't want the lights on. I mean, <laughs> married at first sight. What is wrong with your decision-making process? Right, because I'm not taking it. no shower by candlelight. Yeah. Like, that's not going to work. You put a bath by, by candlelight. That could be very That wasn't what she was taking. That's definitely not what she was taking. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. You know, they could definitely do better with some of the, yeah, the decisions. But, you know, still... I'm going to say they're my runner-up couple. Second, Nastasha and Nate, I actually think they are my second favorite. I don't know what that okay. says for this season, but that's where we are. Yeah. Um, I, I haven't picked the second yet. Uh. <laughs> there's first and then there's last. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I do feel good about after this episode for them, though. Um, let's yeah. see if they can continue it. All right. Yeah. Let us know what you think, guys. This might be your favorite couple. Let us know if you like them even more, Nastasha and Nate, or if there's another couple that you find better. And um, if y'all turn off the lights after 6 o'clock, or on the lights only after 6 o'clock, that's what it was. Yeah. And only wash before 4 p.m., you know, let us know. I don't know if that's a thing in the Chicagoland area where we are. Yeah. But I think the water is the same price all day long. <laughs> Who knows? No one knows. Let me know if you know. (laughs) (laughs) Save us $2 if you would, please. (laughs) Please.
Peace, guys. Like, yeah. like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.